you you hit a nerve there. Wow. It got a little crazy just for a second there. We'll see if I start talking if they be quiet. <laughs> I doubt it. They're throwing salt sakers at each other. <laughs> Woo wee! It just heated up in this room. I wonder if I even turned the microphone on. Right, he's smiling. Does that mean you can hear us? Yep. Okay. Looks like the, the microphone is on. We got Ben over on one screen. You know him as Waybread. He is a chef that's been culinary trained. School, we'll let him talk a little bit about when we get him on there. Um, but during the pandemic, he decided that he was going to find a way to give back to a community. And uh, so teach cooking. And he said, when you start teaching, and I'm sure you guys could um, speak to this as well. When you start teaching people how to do stuff, you learn a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, you still. do. Yeah. That's the best way and, to learn. Uh, so that's what we have. We decided we went into his stream and we we caught his stream and he was wearing this apron. And it looked a, a little bit like it had been used, well used, and it had some leather on. I was like, "Oh, dude, dig the leather on the apron." He's like, "Oh, Springfield leather. I get it." <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "Let's do something and and uh, get you a, a an apron made." So if you do the command exclamation point way bread, uh, you'll get kind of a shout out of what he has going on and get to see his Instagram. He takes some pretty cool pictures of his food when he gets done, but. We're going to try to make an apron here. So we got try. Liz over there with a lay on oh. and a bunch of uh, glow in the dark <laughs> bracelets. Because it's my party day. Yeah, but the glow sticks <laughs> don't work. Day. It doesn't work because it's so bright in here. <laughs> and then Clayton, head of R&D, been with Springfield Leather for how long? Uh, it's been nine years. Nine years. So not as good as my 10 years. Almost as long, yeah. When does your 10 years happen, Liz? Today. 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 Yeah. Un unplanned. I didn't even look at that before. <laughs> but we've got, we we uh, reached out to Ben and Ben uh, sent out to his community and said, hey, what do you guys want to, what do you want to see out of it? So they picked out the leather and the canvas that we used for it. We've come up with a little bit of, we've used the pattern that we have, but modified it highly to... Uh, make it work for him. Yeah. All right, Clayton. You want me to take it away? You ready? You're up. All right. So, yeah. Uh, you guys picked out our uh, it's a number 10 Martexan duck canvas in the charcoal color. That's what it's called. Yep. And then we've also got uh, some Oxford Excel Bordeaux, which is a really nice smooth oil tan that comes in a five to six ounce. So these two combined, I think, are going to make a really awesome combination. We're doing some uh, black hardware. Um, we've got some, like, matte black. Uh, like powder coated hardware and yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be sick so let's get into it uh first thing i'm gonna do is i've got my my pattern cut out for my apron and i cut it an inch larger than my normal pattern that i have for this is for cutting out a leather apron so i cut it an inch larger because i'm gonna double roll the edges all the way around this thing that way the, that doesn't start fraying out so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my wing dividers and i'm gonna mark a line uh, just about a half inch all the way around it, and that's going to give me a guide for making my first fold to make sure it's even all the way around. Now, some guys can eyeball this, and we could eyeball it, but give ourselves a little insurance to make sure it gets done right. So I popped Ben up there on screen with us, so he's he's hanging out. Hi, Ben! <laughs> there we go. Stay on the edge. Can we hear him? Uh, no. I, hopefully you'll be able to hear him over there. I had the desktop audio because there's audio whenever people go to follow it plays a little tune. So I may have to get into Streamlabs and delete that audio because it's going to be ringing all the time. But I think everybody in the chat should be able to hear him. I don't know. What happens if you talk, Ben? I don't know. What happens if I talk, chat? Can you guys hear me? We can uh, like, hear you. From that computer, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job marking this. One thing that's kind of cool about working with this wax canvas, though, is you can just mark it with a wing divider, and it just leaves a nice line in the wax for you to follow. A nice wax line. <laughs> yeah, what up, Q? <laughs> well, Ben, it's, it's nice to meet you and to see you. So I know these guys hang out with you a lot on the Twitch, okay, but everybody. Clayton and I are, are not that hip. So, <laughs> no, no, this is, this well, is the most ball, experience I've ever had with Twitch. Good. You're doing great, honestly. I didn't want to talk, I didn't want to talk over you. You're giving us all the info. 
No, please, please. Dude, this, this looks I'm not so usually cool much of a talker. I'm excited. That's why I'm here. Oh, I see. I like your lay, by the way, Liz. Thank it's you. Great. <laughs> it's great. It's a good way to celebrate. Uh, that's Supposedly it lights up, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Hey, Liz, I got something for you, though, for your 10 year. What did you get for me, Tony? So look straight into camera number one. Oh, dear Lord. Smile big. Here, Here we go. go. I know, Lauren. It's weird. What's happening? What's going on? Your graphics not showing up on our screen. Oh. It doesn't show up on our screen there. You'll, you'll, have, you'll have to come over here uh, and see it after we get done. It was a confetti. Look. It was a confetti. Too. It was a Ten confetti. years. Confetti. That happened this morning, too. There was a pinata with confetti. It was a good time. We did have a good time. It happening. I heard it, it from the background. Yeah, I had him on this morning where you're over there whacking the pinatas. <laughs> <laughs> like, you hear them get crazy? He's like, yeah, I hear it. <laughs> What's up, Laura? I like that there were plural pinatas. That there were. Awesome. I heard there was pinatas. one that was filled with candy Almost. and then one that was filled with confetti. Both of which I knocked to the floor and then just had to beat while on the ground. Mercy. So. <laughs> okay, Clay, you want me to put rivets in these? Yeah, go ahead and start assembling the straps there. Um, I cut... A couple of straps out of the Bordeaux Excel and split them down to about a four ounce. How far back should I? Uh, not very far. You want to rivet it about as tight Same. as you can. Okay. I'm excited for it. And then I skive the ends in order to get the slides on there. Okay. There's one inch wide straps. I think all three of them I'm going to do at 36 inches. And that should give you plenty of room for adjustment. This is so it's thing, so weird to be both in the stream and watching the stream at the same time. I don't know. It's yeah. different. A different experience. I'm sure it probably makes it hard to like figure out where you want to talk in. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm just like looking and like, do I watch? Do I do I look up here? It's, it's fine. <laughs> I'm excited about this challenge. Well, Clayton's just rolling the edge over, and then he's going to do an, an, another roll of the edge to do uh, kind of around the border. And then we'll, are you going to do the double stitch line like we did on the prototype one? Oh, yeah. uh, we'll see. Okay. We'll see how it works out. I don't know how much time this is going to take. This is one thing that I could have. Maybe done beforehand, but I didn't run out of time. We got four hours before Ben starts his stream. So. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, <true>. we don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so, no four hours? So I'm sure your channel knows a little bit about it, what I was talking about before, how you got into it. So I'm going to mute our mic and go over of what made you get into doing the, the Twitch or however you even found out about Twitch. Were you lurking somebody else before? So. You're up, and I'm going to mute our mic, so you'll see us working, but that way you don't hear all the pounding. Cool. So what was the, the question is, how did I get into Twitch as a, as a streamer? Yep, yep. Yeah, okay. So um, long, long story, but uh, the shorter version of it is that um, I was working in a hotel, and I worked I worked as a front of house manager, and what that means is I ran the, the restaurant essentially, but I also ran some of the banquets and uh, helped work in the beverage program, ordering alcohol, worked in the bar. Um, but me personally, I am a, I'm a cook by trade, I guess. I went to the Culinary Institute of America and I learned cooking, as well as you know, hospitality, other business stuff, uh, and that just kind of lent me the ability to be in the kitchen a lot um so so there were many days and chat has heard uh, my stories on how on very very horrible days i would work both in the dining room and in the kitchen and uh i sort of started developing this really flex skill set where i could do both and i was Honestly, some of the most fun I had was when I was doing both back and front of house and flipping back and forth. Um, because what I like about being in front of house is the interaction, the interaction with the with the guests and the 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 ability to see like how people are enjoying the food or you know making a a special experience for someone. Um, and come COVID, we all got fired. <laughs> I got furloughed, uh, and I had a lot of time to sit on my butt and think about like what's next for me. And uh, I had a friend of mine who was 
who is planning on doing these little cooking videos. Um, and he and we were talking about it back and forth because he was curious if I would kind of work with him to do these cooking videos. And from there, it never it, that never turned into anything. But I never forgot the idea. And then, boom, boom. Uh, it it I was like I could stream. I could stream from my kitchen. Might as well. You know, I enjoy cooking. It could be a lot of fun. Um, and then from the time of that inception, it probably took me like another five months to actually start streaming. But um, that's that's how I got into Twitch, essentially. Um, I thought the whole interacting with chat while cooking could be very much the same thing I did in the restaurant, if not better, <laughs> if not better. So my daughters so and how, I, I got into it. Yeah. My daughters and I uh, did a cooking show and we actually went through a cookbook. It was like cooking for kids or something like that. And it was written by a guy that was from the culinary Institute of America. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, 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 they crop up all over the place to be honest. It's crazy how many how many CIA grads are out there. A little restaurant chain called Chipotle. Familiar? I heard yeah. of it once or twice. That's a CIA grad. Nice. <laughs> That's, That's a CIA, CIA grad. grad. Which good for him. So do you still professionally cook? Are you back in the restaurant scene? Um not currently. But I'm thinking about so two things. I'm thinking about going back to work in this area soon, um, just to kind of get my feet back into the community here, because I moved, because um, I was living in Asheville and I moved back here. So I kind of want to make some connections there. But I'm also planning on doing my own restaurant sometime, hopefully in the near future. The plan is for the near future. <laughs> You got any names? Well, yes, I want to in the cook my own restaurant. Any names in the cooker? Um, yeah, the the working I guess name of the restaurant is Nourish. Um, one word, short, sweet, uh, but it means a lot to me because I want to create a restaurant that is a platform for young cooks. Um, because I don't know what you know about the hospitality industry, uh, in, as a general rule. But kind of a brutal place, <laughs> uh, kind of not what uh, what the, the glitz and glamour many people think of when they think of chefs. Um, and it's actually harder than you'd think to like progress upwards while working in the industry. There's this question you get all the time um, when you've gone to culinary school, and the, it's, do you think culinary school is worth it? Um, and one of the things I do say all the time is I think it's worth it. Like you can get all of the skills you need while working in the industry. That's just a proven fact. Um, but culinary school kind of it advances you three times, four times, five times faster um, just because it's so learning focused. Um, so what I want to do is kind of build a restaurant that nourishes young cooks <laughs> and kind of allows them to be creative and build their skills and have a have a platform to really really do what we all want to do which is create and uh, not just be swamped with the burdens of running a business so that is the the working title for nourish and obviously there's the whole nourishing your your, your guests and your people and their souls and you know yourself so but that's yeah. That's my story. <laughs> no, I think that's I think it's really cool how, you know, all that all that works together in the in the nourishment part of it of giving back to the community. Yeah, I'm giving them I'm able to feed them, but not only that, but I'm giving back to the next level of cooks. And I think that's where a lot of people are is where's the next group going to be of people mm -hmm. that are past it? Yeah, I always want to be the best at something, but if I'm not making anybody better, then it's really easy for me to rise to the top, but I want everybody to rise to the top. So just bring them along with me. Exactly. Exactly. And, uh, we're better together, right? You know, like the, the whole 
collaborative uh, brain is a huge thing uh, that I actually learned the most about in wine tasting. When we're teaching, when we're learning wine tasting, uh, you all sit in a room, like 12 of you, 30 of you, however many uh, is in the class, and you all have the same wine in front of you, and you go through and you taste the wine, and then you do your own personal tasting, and then there's this group forum tasting where the instructor will just ask, what are you tasting? You know, what do you smell? And there's 30 people in the class, and you'll get 30 different uh, answers. Um, so obviously, they kind of work together at times, but you'll have someone say, oh, I'm smelling, you know, really, really bitter melon. And you'll be like, oh, I'm smelling really bitter melon. Holy crap. <laughs> like, you smelled it before, but you didn't realize it until someone else showed you um, what it was. And that's the kind of, like... You can apply that thought process to everything, right? You 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 use a whole group of people and their perspectives to create something that's incredible, and that's you know that's the hope always. Any any sort of business I run, that's that's going to be the foundation of of how we will operate. What are you guys doing over there? Still rolling edges I right now. Of, I got I see a lot of stuff. I put Liz to work on the straps. Bit and then go back here. It looks good. It looks good. I'm super excited for this. <laughs> it is apron shaped at this point, so I think we're on the right track. I mean, that's what we wanted. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, like a just a straight frock would have been. I would have been happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. Wine of I got a strap. Vinegar. <laughs> Delicious vinegar. Okay. Are you knocking on vinegar? Don't do that. What are what's on the menu for today? Uh, so today, well, I I had this idea that I want to make biscuits, um, and I live in the south, and in the south there's this restaurant called Bojangles, and uh, yep, yep, you might have heard of it. I want to kind of copycat their uh chicken biscuit a little bit today possibly but i think i'm going to do chicken and sausage and then we're going to have to make the biscuit the one thing i hate about biscuit sandwiches is that they don't stay together so i, I don't know i want to try to work on the biscuit a little bit to make it a nice sandwiching biscuit but that's the plan anyway tuesday <laughs> abigail's over here Beaning on some chicken biscuits. I get down with a chicken biscuit, that's for sure. Yeah, chicky biscuits. Abigail did bring us into the inspiration station here one day. She did bring us some chicken biscuits. Well, it was all because one day I was like, hey, have you guys ever had chick fil chicken biscuits? And they're like, no, no. I was like, well, they're really good. And then I ate mine. You guys were like, wow, I thought you were going to say you brought some stuff. <laughs> And then you kept on, you kept on, and you brought Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. But we didn't shut up. <laughs> Here we are still talking about it. <laughs> Bojangles, never heard of it. How dare you. All how right. How dare you. Hey, I think, I think we're, we're rolled. We're ready to sew. So I'm going to go ahead and run a stitch line across this thing. That way these things will stay in place. Are we ready? You're going. I like your little uh, tool holster there. It's awesome. Should get one for myself. Chicky biskies. Oh no. Chicky biskies. <laughs> oh come on, you camera. So zoomed right, in. Chat. Here we go. Oh yeah, welcome. I have a feeling this is going to be very had a hard time all week last week with that one, like, zooming. <laughs> a greater than it. Yeah, I agree. Handballs. We can take a hard pass on handballs. Oh, 
Hey Liz. Oh, yeah. Hey That's Tony. Canvas. You don't get you don't get to have your picture in picture. We got wave red in picture in picture today. Mm, that is okay with me. So you can stand over here and check your messages if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> What's a handball? Do you like it's, to throw things at Tony? We discovered it yesterday. Towel. It's like a meatball, <laughs> but made of ham, oh, and it has like a sweet yeah. barbecue sauce on it. Yep. It's questionable. It's highly questionable. Oh, they put graham crackers inside of it too. Oh, the whole thing sucks. I don't. I don't recommend it. I wish I could forget about it a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Zero out of ten. <laughs> There's graham cracker crumbs in there. I don't like it. That's that's a no. I can't do that. <laughs> Stacy says you can use frosted flakes cooking. instead of graham crackers. Oh, gross. <laughs> I wish I was taught more about cooking, not how to, but why oh, things are mixed no. the way they are. Yes, that's the that's actually really insightful because that's the thing that really separated uh, the culinary world from the culinary schools, or at least my culinary school, is they taught us a lot about the why you do something, and that can, I mean, if you know why you're doing something, then you can change what you're doing. You know, big, big, big difference in terms of how you cook that's that's awesome old drum the whole thing sounds sus it is sus. super sus would not recommend no no thing to make what is your favorite dish what, what is, is my, my favorite, favorite dish? dish yeah uh probably dumplings or noodles it has to it has yeah, to be no. one of those. Noodles yeah. are, I, 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 have I have to struggle, to struggle not to make noodles, noodles every day. My great grandma made some she made chicken and dumplings. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those recipes where I asked her for it and she just told it to me off the top of her head and she's like, It's two pinches of this and I was like, Okay, can we narrow that down <laughs> a little bit more? Yeah. I mean, she was probably 85 when she was telling me this recipe, and so I still have it wrote down. One thing I didn't get from her that I wish was an apple pie recipe. Oof. Oof. She worked at an apple orchard most of her it. life. She could peel an apple, and she would. It would be one. It would be one cut with with a, with a peeling. Yeah, with a, a paring knife. Yeah, she was pretty. She uh, was pretty slick. I really want to be able to do that. I'm gonna practice. <laughs> I'm gonna practice now. <laughs> life goals. I want to be when I hit eighty five. I want to be able to impress everyone with my apple peeling ability. She lived in a different. She lived probably about an hour and a half south of us, but we couldn't tell her when we we were coming because she would cook so much stuff. We would get there and it'd be like a full spread every time. You get appetizers, you get your main <laughs> course, and then you get dessert. She's like, "I wish you guys would have told me. Like, we can just run down to Sonic and get some burgers." <laughs> <laughs> So what would you say, while we're finishing this stitch line here, what would you say was the, the biggest takeaway, one of the biggest takeaways from school that you wish you would have known going in? Something I wish I would have known going in. Um, how fast it would have been it's going to be. <laughs> I mean, I know maybe everyone thinks that, but I feel like I... I could have gotten so much more if I knew how quickly the time was just going to blow by. Um, and that doesn't really help anyone's knowledge unless you're going into culinary school. But man, that first, the first two years went by just like snap, snap, it was over. Um, but I know that's not really what you're asking. What was the biggest thing I learned from school that I think was uh, super helpful? That's okay. I wanted to see what I like. The what? What would I have known going in? What would I have changed, or what would I have done it different? But that was that was the follow up question. Is what you're getting ready to answer? Yeah, I got you. Got you. 
Um, what was the biggest thing? Because there, I mean, I learned a lot of things, like a lot of small things, details from like master chefs who've been working in the industry for years. They give you their little, uh, their little tricks. There's nothing, nothing like having someone, someone give you the experience, right? Because anyone can give you the knowledge, right? That you just pull it off of Google and give it to you. Um, but nothing like having a master tell you, oh, if you just flip it this way and then pull it back, you know, boom, <laughs> you, you've saved yourself six hours and it'll come out right every single time, you know? So the the thousands of little things you pick up at culinary school, I wish I'd wrote more of those down to be honest. Um, what what is the biggest singular thing you get out of culinary school? I think it I think I just hit on it to be honest. I think it's that interaction with masters, um, and that's what I would say if you're going into culinary school. Really get to know your instructors and really absorb all those little details. Those little details will make you, you know, just insane. <laughs> they will, it, I think you can apply that to any any sort of uh, education. Really get to know who's teaching you um, because they have little gems that, uh, that'll just boost you up, boost you up like crazy. Morning, Rhinus. I get to know I get to know all the Springfield people now. Are you going again, Clayton? Yeah, we'll stitch around this again. We're standing out for a, a double-sided presser foot. The interior is kind of like to roll off that inside seam. Needle will hit it. Mm -hmm. Press the interior. Is it that makes sense? I want to show you something. We're Bye. twitching. This is really so fun to watch. Send this to me. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. You want yeah. to show everybody? Yeah. Check it out. I don't like you so much. I don't know. No, we we'll buy patterns from you. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. That's legit. And it weighs as much as it looks. <laughs> no bad. That's cool. Right? That thing is serious. Ooh, oh, ba battery's not included. Nope, battery's not included. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought nice. it was cool to share. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. You did a good See job you. painting this. Welcome to my anniversary day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I think you're good. There's a trail of confetti from the pinatas all the way to your office. Yes. That's pretty awesome. There are many trails of confetti today. So that's Rusty. That's our CEO. He runs things. Yeah. Really Very stuff. cool CEO. Yeah. He's got a nice Glock. <laughs> yeah. He he's in the middle of building a house, so with a with a nice big garage, so that that can hang in his beautiful new garage once he gets it built. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you located now? This camera angle is just awesome. Uh, Me? Yeah. Uh, I am located in the Raleigh Durham area of North Carolina. Oh, okay. I was over there in 2019. Mm -hmm. okay. Where are you? <laughs> I was at Duke. Duke. That's the spot. Oh, great. Softball related again? It was softball related, yes. <laughs> you like your kids are a little young for you to start touring colleges at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Third young, six and thirteen. Let's go go around the country touring colleges. Where do you want to go? Getting where we want to. Good. So, what's the reasoning behind the uh, the double stitch? Just holds longer. We'll wait till he gets done sewing and then be able to explain it. I don't know if you could hear him. I switched to, I have a microphone at my desk and a microphone that's in the room. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
This is really fun to watch, honestly. Yeah. It's good good content. <laughs> You're gonna have to make us on your show today. You're gonna have to make a co a cocktail that's SLC related, with no leather, oh, okay. no leather flavors though. Probably, that tastes weird. No <laughs> leather flavors. The leather dust cocktail. That's what I like to drink. <laughs> leather dust cocktail. <laughs> There's leather dust just everywhere. Okay. Mm, delicious. So here's here's the story. <laughs> here's the story. You did have a leather cocktail, leather death, dust cocktail. So we finally got our affiliate and we got our channel points all working and we were cruising along with it. And one of the channel points was Liz takes a sip of her coffee and <laughs> she's sanding like she was earlier on some, some veg tan leather and it's no, making... Oh, you're right. It was Clayton that did some sanding on it. And leather dust is flying everywhere, and it's all in her coffee. And Abigail, the tree hugger, spins her channel points right after all the leather dust has landed in her coffee. And I was like, oh, they use channel <laughs> points. I was not expecting Liz to drink it, but she, man, she stepped up and she's like, gulp. And I was like, oh. And now Abigail redeemed more sips of coffee. Waybread getting his sips of coffee in. Liz, you don't have your coffee in here, do you? I'll sit for that. Leather coffee cocktail. Yikes. <laughs> so that was the, uh, that's the leather dust drinking that happened back here. And then as soon as I went and refill, refilled her coffee, I got it and it's like steaming. Steam is rolling off of it. Darcy redeems her 500 points for more all the sips. And I was like, good grief. Let me put a... <laughs> Let me put a timer on this and slow it down. Is there an actual <laughs> store that I can shop at or online only? So, uh, Chug847, we are located in Springfield, Missouri, and we do have, that is our only location um, that we have. What are we talking about? Disc golf. Clayton will talk about anything. So, that's where our location is, but online. <laughs> I'm trying to think of uh, a way to make a leather themed cocktail. Clayton, I do kind of want to just like make it. some miniature things now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll discuss that in the middle now. I mean, wouldn't that just be fun just to make a tiny miniature apron? Or a baby? Her baby. <laughs> a little, baby. A little tiny baby apron. How adorable would that house. be? So I know. Look, this would probably like go down to its knees, and it wouldn't be able to walk. Oh, like that time we put Tony's child in the full size apron, and she couldn't move because we like lashed her in. That was pretty great. She's like, Dad, my knees. Did we make it? We made it all the way around. We made it around yep. again. Hopefully we hit our interior roll edge. All right, so Wade Brett had a question. What was the point of the double strips? Did they make it stronger, stylized? What would be the reasoning? Well, I ended up double stitching it because I, I did a double rolled edge. And so that interior rolled edge was not quite as, uh, wasn't quite as wide as my secondary rolled edge. So I wanted to make sure and catch that with the second stitch that's closer to the interior all the way around so that it doesn't come unfolded on the back. Does that make sense? There you go. Yep. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Gotcha. I thought you had an, another lighter around here somewhere, but I don't see it. I got one in my pocket. Probably where it went. <laughs> yeah, none of them on the keychain. It's very mainly cocktail. Does this proof? Yeah, it was a little close there. Yeah, it's close. it'll be good. That's what Lizzie's here for. No, to judge. Exciting. Yeah, I know this is what you guys do every day, but <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> All right, so I did get started on the pockets previously. Um, I actually started sewing the across the top of this one with white stitching, but we're going to cover that up with a piece of leather, a strip of leather, um, and that'll get reinforced. This one is going to be the 
in the waist pocket, it's going to sit about, I think we decided, what was it, seven and a half inches from the bottom yesterday? Yeah. So we're going to mark this the best that we can. I took all my silver pins. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. It could have been me last week. Okay. No. That's all right. I think this wax canvas marks. Hey, Clayton, how easy is it to tape or glue anything on that wax canvas? Absolutely just about impossible. Yeah. That's what's so frustrating about this stuff. <laughs> is nothing will stick to it. And so that's why you didn't see me use any kind of basting tape, double-sided tape, uh, adhesive, trying to stick the rolled edges down beforehand. A lot of times it makes it a lot easier. Center mark. I mean, if nothing sticks to it, it's a better apron, no? <laughs> exactly. It, yeah, and you know, maybe we'll show you here in a bit just how water resistant this stuff is. Yeah. Mark line. Hey, do we still have some vegetable oil from last week? Oh my gosh. Throw some vegetable oil on it. I didn't wa after I got it set up, I went and rode more rides, so I didn't watch it. But oh, the mess. Melissa told me how much it is, and I saw how dark the oil is, or the leather is over there from the oil. Oh, do we oh. have those bowls? I haven't seen them yet. Oh. Yeah, what was I coming over here to look for? I don't So you guys asked me, but what's uh what's your what's your favorite thing to eat? Oh, what's your favorite thing to eat, Liz? I'm going to start with me. Spaghetti. My favorite thing is spaghetti. I could really? eat I could eat spaghetti three times a day. <laughs> it's yeah. I love noodles of all hey, kinds. I'm here for it. I, I I agree. There's nothing wrong with the spaghetti. Yeah. I I've, I've had to limit my spaghetti intake. Alright, so I'm gonna try a adhesive and we're gonna see how this works. This is a Called Neo Weld. It's a a piece of that never fully cures. It does a pretty good job of getting sticky, so we'll see how it goes. Neo -Weld. Clayton. What do I like to eat? What do you like to eat? My favorite. Besides uh, beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, not that bad. Uh, I don't know. I like like a good Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, I love pizza. Nice. Yeah, that's so easy. That's been a big part of my diet since I was young. And... <laughs> the pizza. The pizza. <laughs> uh, I mean, those are those are good choices. Oh my god, biscuits and gravy. Yeah, I will eat biscuits and gravy a lot. Those are uh, you're killing it on the choices right now. Really <laughs> steak, pizza, and biscuits and gravy. <laughs> All I'm right, a big, I'm a big steak and potatoes, but I do like a good burger as well. Oof. Right. I had the best oh, burger of my life out in Sacramento. Prime rib. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab this leather strip that we're going to put across the front of this pocket. And oh. so this is ultimately the edges are going to become the uh, the towel loops on the side. Oh, okay. A couple of towel loops. Dude, this looks so good. We're going to go across <laughs> the front of this. <laughs> we're glad you're excited, Ben. That's We'd be pretty sad if it you It does, wasn't. though. It's like, I love the way it looks together. Let's go ahead and mark the leather, and I'm going to put a little more adhesive on the leather and see if I can get it to stick. Oh. I went to this place in Colorado, uh, in Simpleton, Colorado, and they have a place where you go in and you, it's called the Mint. When you pick out your steak, they have super choice cuts of meat, and then they have their grills out there, and so you grill it to how you like it. So they don't even have somebody grilling the steaks. You're you're paying. You get to cook paying. your own meat. Oh, but then you buy the sides, and when you buy the sides, you don't know it unless you ask. Like you buy baked potatoes, but it comes with like eight baked potatoes. Like it's like family size. Right. Like. All the sides are like <laughs> wow. are for for everybody that's kind of there. Uh, I looked at the thread, one thirty eight on top and bobbin. But what size uh, needle were you using? Uh, well. Should say on the side of the machine, but I believe it's a 23. It, I mean, the 23 is moved up. Yeah, it would be a 23. Thanks, Clay. Just imagine yeah. eight big go, Charles. showing up. All right, let that dry out. We're going to stitch this across, across the front of the pocket, and then we'll stitch a couple of dividers, or maybe one divider up the center of it, up to that one, and then we'll be ready to attach it to the main body. Nice. Yeah. We do have a hair dryer in here now. Very we cool. do. We bought one. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's not like plugged in or anything. Nope. The Chevy guy is here. here. Chevy guy, what's up, dude? <laughs> the only Twitter that I know. <laughs> he was like our 
Well, besides Chad and Spectral Void, outside of Springfield Leather, Chevy Guy was kind of the first That's follower awesome. and was the first subscriber like, yeah. to our channel. That's so. what I got. Yeah. All right, well, we'll this. It's going to be annoying for everybody. You need to take talk over it. Yeah, Tony, what, what happens if you don't know how to cook a steak? Do they come over and help you in that restaurant or you just you just have to you just have to muddle through? They have somebody that's there that's kinda of just sitting and okay. and watching you as well. How many camera angles do you guys have? Five. So we have Liz, point to camera one. Camera one is in front of us. Camera two is by me. Here. Camera three. And that's the one pointing at the sewing machine. Yep. Camera three. Is over here. Oh, let me just do them. So we got one, and then two, and then three, and then four. I think I made a command tag as well. I can't remember what it is, though. Maybe setup? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Nice. These are all He's good sewing, too. Tony, if you wanted to go to good setup. three or two. Thanks. Whichever one that is. <laughs> so I will sometimes go back and forth across and I will change like what angle it's shooting on. So like I'll go to the overhead camera so then I can walk by to get to the other cameras and switch them around and move them around. That's the joy of having somebody that's able to like produce and be over here oh, at the same time right. no i'm not <laughs> i complain all the time operate. <laughs> i wonder if it's possible to set up like a chat command or a redemption to change the camera angle anything be is possible or... oh, it'd be like a set up a channel points but then i just go and i have to go and do it oh yeah you, you could do it. do it yeah i think there's you can set up uh, like scene changes, but I don't know how that works. Uh, you'd have to ask a real streamer. <laughs> right. Just faking it here. <laughs> I did. You, there t you guys are talking about barbecue stuff in the chat. Well, Charles and I are. So I went to, there's a place in Memphis called uh, Central Barbecue. And Rendezvous barbecue, and those are the best barbecue joints I have ever eaten at. I have to look them up. Yeah, Rendezvous is in just a little downtown. Their menu is like one page, and so they sit you down, they take your drink order, and after they get done taking the drink order, they're like, hey, you guys know what you want? That's how like popular their menu is. <laughs> they don't give you any time to look at the menu like, let's get your order. Okay, okay. Just flying <laughs> through it. It's right across... It's uh, like down an alley, uh, and then we went to a Memphis Redbirds game after that. Nice. Wow, this is not what I expect this restaurant to look like. Very classic look to it. And then the other one is Central Barbecue, and the one I go to is on Central Street. The sewing machine is a Cobra Class 26. So it's a cylinder arm machine, but it's very similar to a Class 20 Cobra, which is the flatbed version of it. Someone said Texas, Texas Barbecue is where it's at. I agree with that. But I'd say NC Barbecue for pulled pork. Texas barbecue for brisket. Charlie, I just made uh I just made uh an Eastern yesterday. Or not yesterday. Saturday I made Eastern style. I mean that's where that's where it's at. That's where I live, so <laughs> that's the barbecue I want to eat. Clayton remember this morning as he was getting started working on this that that he really hates working with canvas. So <laughs> he had forgotten how terrible it is. It's just it's so frustrating. It just it moves amazing. on itself everywhere. It's not 
I'm a leather craftsman. What can I say? I work so, in leather. <laughs> He's having a great time. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Which, like I said, this wax canvas. I don't canvas. like this canvas stuff. <laughs> The wax canvas is really cool, and, and we were really excited to start carrying it, but it is. Just working with fabrics is just a lot different than working with leather, and especially this stuff. All right, so but it's should, great. We, should we it's divide great. this into one, two pockets, or divide it into three pockets? Ben, what do you want? <laughs> I, two pockets, I think, seems good. Just, just one up pockets. the middle? Two pockets? Yeah, just one up the center. Okay. I like that. Got it. Your wish is our command, sir. Wow. <laughs> I think that could be fun. I don't think you should say that. I'm not kind of internet show. <laughs> <laughs> so what's uh, what project was the most fun that you've ever worked on? Oh, gosh. I mean, I, I do knife sheaths on my own time, and so I've definitely had several that have been pretty exciting that I I've really enjoyed making so I don't know I did one here a couple months ago that was like a white like cream colored stingray inlay um and then I just did a kind of natural border around it and um that came out really well I was really happy it was a really interesting design so I had a really funky shaped welt that can you I give out your Instagram Liz I can put it in. <laughs> That wasn't, the, that wasn't the question. I could put it in there. The question was, does she give it out? I mean, people can. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sometimes. Sometimes. Have, actually, I think I have a handmade leather sheet somewhere. It's awesome. It's awesome. I have made a couple sayas before. Um, those have been pretty fun. I did like a. Um, we've got a friend that makes knives up in like central Missouri. And uh, he did a chef's knife that I made uh, a saya for. He had like a mm -hmm. merle, merle, maple, some sort of handle that had been dyed like this really fun green, blue mottled color. And I ended up coming up with like a snake skin that really matched the handle really well. And so I put those two together and it was a pretty sweet saya for his chef knife. That does sound awesome. It's probably on my Instagram you wanted to look that up, it's fine. You don't have to. Chat's hosted already. No I'm pressure. At it now. It's in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, chat. Yeah, cool. it's it's no effort either. We could just click. We're there. <laughs> know, These are very fun. cool. These are very very cool. Thank you. We have those three hundred chats. Sorry, sorry, I'm slow. Oh my goodness. We'll just be making jokes. Oh. <laughs> One hundred and twenty points. We got to see Abigail. She supports her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back. Last time today. I Something Last else cool today. Yeah. You want to know what's cool? The mm -hmm. clock pattern. Oh, nice. He sent us I the love pattern. This guy. The whole tooling pattern. The tooling pattern for the clock. How to lay out the numbers so that you get them correct. If we only well, had a board, they could put that in. The if we form. only, <laughs> if we only. But then we also have a belt case for like a flashlight. Are you going fishing today? Those like your fishing sunglasses. They are my fishing sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, I dropped the truck off to get an oil change, so I rode the motorcycle. Mm. Which is by coincidence, I get a cool leather clock that says hey, look what I got "Loud Life Save Lives." Oh, a great and day. Then that. Where did you get this? It was on our mannequin that was up there that now has a legit. Look, you're ready to go. I'm ready to roll. They are my fishing glasses. That's funny. They look like your fishing This glasses. is going to be hot. I can tell you now. This is going to be hot. Oh, my. But hey, since you're not wearing your helmet anymore, I assume. Right. <laughs> you, no helmet you, law. No helmet. Don't protect your head. <laughs> you can keep that. Thanks. <laughs> keep, keep the skin on your head. <laughs> Oh my god. The only place you can so go, room. Rusty. <laughs> I almost got rid of it yesterday. Hey, hey, hey! Only place you can go in SLC where we give you something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're allowed to have that. Thank uh, you. I'm the president of the company. That's okay. You can have it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Bye, Rusty. Bye, again. Bye, Rusty. <laughs> He's fine. 
little bit. Someone had his coffee. All right. So I'm going to try and keep this in place the best I can while we sew this. Like I said, this stuff is a challenge because it likes to move around a lot. And I'm, I don't have any safety pins, which is what I should have got. And just pinned oh, it all together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you should have said something. I have plenty at home. <laughs> Could have. Oh, if I had, I'll have to adjust that camera. <laughs> I think I hear Steppenwolf playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That blank table. It's a good table. It's impressive. Great for driving. I mean, what else? What else do you do for this? <laughs> There's nothing else that I can prep, is there? Really? Um. No. Nope. Just waiting I don't know on why you. The sewing part is so satisfying, but it really is. <laughs> it's like the close in. It's great. It's like watching the cheese boil when something's on, on like broil in the oven. Just to go. Right. <laughs> this is making me want to change some of my camera angles for sure. <laughs> I need a new camera. It does. It looks exactly like it's walking across the fabric. You know what you can do, Liz? What could I do? So it's actually called a walking foot. Hey. Oh, yes, I mean, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Aptly named then. I saw you switch it out. Is and that's is that better for the canvas or the leather? What was switching out the before? foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I switched it out to a, a single-sided presser foot, which is basically really just better for the type of seam that I'm sewing. Uh, I used the double-sided presser foot whenever I was stitching further in on this double-rolled seam. Um, really, it just it, it handles the material better and keeps it from tilting underneath the foot, uh, which can cause the needle to come out the side of the material and not catch all the layers that you want. That's the long answer. Nice. Okay. What's Very cool. Answer? Very cool. Works better. It felt like it. <laughs> Said if he had Works like, better. Like he so better. Okay, so you said you, you have one cut out, but it's sewn in the wrong color. So am I cutting a new one? Yeah, cut a new one. I will cut a new one. Just do it better than yeah, I Mobius. I definitely like the uh, the close-in angle a little bit more. I might Way be closer. using something like that <laughs> for for my own stream. I'm learning. <laughs> Uh, give me just a second. I need to grab a couple too. Uh, yes. Is your name Chug or is it C Huge? But yes, I am white bread, and that apron is going to be mine, I think. Okay. Ten years old. That is the plan, is to ship it to him after we get done. Oh, that's good. <laughs> no, we're... As it turns out. I mean, you could just put it on the wall, too. Uh. <laughs> you know we'll just hang it on the wall and let you drool over it here. Just, just hang it on the wall and I'll just look at it. Whenever I'm on stream. Look at it. Would you just look at it? <laughs> Would you just look at that? Oh, wow, you did get closer. <laughs> Whoa, Tony. Didn't know it was possible. Okay, this is nice. Some chat, clip it. You ever thought of setting one of your tags as ASMR? <laughs> I feel like this would work. We talk way too much for it to be ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> you just call it workshop ASMR. It's perfect. Nice. Oh, 
there you go, visual ASMR. That's not your knife. No. Oh, my knife. Talk to you about that. I put all of your stuff back in your pouch. Mm -hmm. There we go. Kind of see what he means by the canvas moving itself around. Tony, it literally I like is like bunches up, up so starts walking around. So you can't really tell, but we're going across the bottom right here. Gotcha. It's the. I'm going to go bell knife this topic. Okay. So when you step back on the fabric, does that just poke another hole? Or like what's so it the, what's when the you technique go, there? Yeah, so when you go back, it's called a back stitch. And the machine lines up and you set your stitch length. And it'll step back into the same hole. So you try to hit the same hole so it can go back over it. Like so this, he'll... It should be hitting in the same hole it was. It looked like it. Now just make sure it's in that same hole so that you only have one stitch hole going across there. But it gets kind of weird like walking up on the type of leather. And so you do like a back stitch like that to lock it in so that when you snip it off and then you burn the thread, it doesn't pull back out. I got you. Very yeah. cool. It's kind of dizzying when you pulls it out, <laughs> pull the leather out from underneath there. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little trippy. All right. Here. And we're back. Um, we're back. Top end. Yeah. All right, so that's somewhat straight. <laughs> you know, our top pocket moved around a little bit, but it's all stitched down. <laughs> it's secured. Yep, should be good. And my snips are over there. Brenty, luckily, you can tune in anytime. Springfield Leather. Relearn your sewing class. <laughs> An advertisement for us? Yeah, it's just a, it's just a casual plug. <laughs> trying to think of the funnest project I ever worked on. I think one of the funner ones I did was I helped uh, do a rig for a magician out of Branson, uh, Kirby Van Perch. Okay, that's oh, cool. Kirby! <laughs> I worked on a leather rig, a leather escape rig for him. That was pretty cool. He's like, he's like that one with the tiger king. He's got tiger king. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. Yeah. Tiger king. <laughs> tiger we made king it here <laughs> on our video today. I thought we were going to make it a whole video without mentioning Tiger King, but no, she had to bring it up. <laughs> All right, so these uh, these straps at the end that kind of go past the edge, we're going to trim those off, and we're going to make these towel loops. We'll sew them down the edge right here, and uh, you'll be able to loop towels through there. So we're just going to make it pucker just a little bit. And we'll mark it. Clayton, you have to... Uh... You're going to sew it for me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Did you have to sign a waiver that you wouldn't tell his magical secrets? No, he's pretty cool about it. No, you he tr he trusted me. That, one of the coolest bags I ever did. 
actually I haven't even finished it yet. It's like a, it's a doctor's bag made with a leather that's kind of the same color as this, a Bordeaux leather, and it's got a blue camel skin interior. I've still I've still got to finish it. That's like four years in the making. You better take your sweet time with the project. Some things, yeah. I'll lose interest here and there, and come back to it. How long has this bag been in the works? Like four years. It's been like four years, yeah. <laughs> Four years. Might have missed that part. Must be an epic bag. It's under my desk. Oh, we're back. We're back, chat. Look at this. It's even better with the leather, to be honest. Oh, those are broken. Got that sewn down. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch down these tabs, or I guess we could rip them either way. Whatever you want to do. We'll go ahead and stitch across them. Oh. Marcus, hey, all the way from Germany. What's up, Marcus? Hello. So, chat, I think I came up with my base for the Springfield Leather cocktail today, because I'm just going to do it. Throw an idea and I'll do it. Uh, but we're going to do something, I think, using a red wine. So maybe a red wine bourbon cocktail, if I have time to get bourbon. We'll see. <laughs> we'll make some leather notes. There you go. It'll happen. We'll probably use just a touch. Oh, there you go. Use rubber. What was that, Tony? Rubber. <laughs> Wish to share. Yeah, rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Bordeaux. Delicious. I don't know. I feel like I feel like cognac is like the color of the perfect leather. Oh, yeah. the color base. Yeah. yeah like any any time we get a leather in that's just like that just perfect cognac, kind of like orangey tan, we all just lose our marbles here. It's that's probably one of our favorite things. <laughs> it's where got a nice pull up to it. And where did I put my marbles? Yeah, where did we put those? What's the pull gone. up? I need, I need term education. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I need to upgrade my leather vocabulary. So, what's that, the leather that you have has pull up too. We sh yeah. we show it has a pull up. Oh. So, like as you pull up from the back, push my fingers up, it changes colors, and then you can kind of rub it back out, and, and then you can do it again. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, Jet, we're learning. I'm le I've learned so much already. <laughs> Christina's leather. <welcome. laughs> Just in time for Clayton to be done. Thanks for the host. Clayton, you snipped your thread excellently. <laughs> yeah, it was a great. Picked by now. I don't. I don't think I was part of that then. Whenever you guys were picking out the leather, I think you picked it after five o'clock, so we already had a little more time. So how did that go? How did yeah. you guys pick out what you were going to be doing? Um, I actually just put it on the Discord, so anyone who was in the Discord could have just reacted to to vote for the ones that were. Uh, and that was. I think it was actually a tie. It wound up being a tie, and I just chose the one that was. Uh, that was prettier <laughs> out of the tie. All right. Let's see if we can get the pocket up. This will be your chest pocket. Now, do you want this to be one wide open pocket like it is, or do you want this divided any certain way? I think I think one is fine. I don't I think division is keep it one necessary. wide pocket? Like a little yeah. pin slot on one side? Nah. Okay. Nah. 
<laughs> I was thinking, yeah, I could, but I never used my pen slot anyway, so <laughs> I don't really need it. We're looking at the pictures that you had. You have like three pens in there, but they're all they look like they've been in there for a minute. <laughs> They they are. They come out very rarely. I don't have a lot of use for a pen in my home kitchen. So, Christina, were you streaming today? Were you making something? Man, this is looking very nice. I'm pretty snazzy. I didn't know how the charcoal and Bordeaux would come together, but it's nice. I like it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> glitter just fell out of my hair. I have glitter still oh, in my glitter. hair. Yeah, from this morning. So you know, it's been a good day. <laughs> and Laura, it does look very way bread. You're right. There's glitter everywhere. It's in the holes. It's everywhere. All right, let's try and keep this guy where it's at. We'll stitch it down. That looks centered to you, Liz. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. It does. It's one that's covering the command. Hey, Tony, I sent you a quick uh, PM. So if you pay for Streamlabs, then you can customize the name of your. I don't know. Maybe it'll change the name. Oh, we are back. Back at the sewing machine. Do you ever make hard rolls? Um, no. Typically, I always make. If I'm gonna make a roll, it's usually soft. Um, I think one time I've made hard rolls just because I had leftover uh, dough from baguettes. What's that Hawaiian roll? Like the Hawaiian the one roll? in the grocery store? Yeah, like King King's Hawaiian roll. <laughs> Other than delicious, King, King's Hawaiian roll. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're just like a little sweeter. I'd actually I've never looked up the recipe. You can throw some pulled pork in there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you could. That would be phenomenal. <laughs> That's crazy. Those for like Pineapple juice, as expected. Split, I saw that you subscribed, and I don't know if I was here to, so, but thank you for your subscribing. Into the fun here with Way Bren. <laughs> Thanks for that sub split. Appreciate you. Like this is going a lot faster than it did yesterday. <laughs> Using the sewing machine. Do you do it by hand, nope. Christina? When you go to the room with a bunch of cameras and it says live mic, people s tend to stay out. Stay out, yeah. yeah. All except for Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Not at <in> my house. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to have any chippy sightings on our screen. We don't have any chippies here. <laughs> no chippies? <laughs> we do have some salty. <laughs> the whole stream for the salties. <laughs> hey, Tony, I'm going to stand up for just a second. I'll be right back. You good? All right. I think we're ready to go ahead and throw some straps on it, and that'll be about it. Awesome. Yeah? Yep, here they are. They're all ready to go. All right, we got tabs here, so we're gonna go ahead and rivet our tabs on. Uh, actually, we can rivet. Uh, let's see, we can do round rings on the end of our end of these straps first, right? 
I don't know. Yeah, is that what we're doing? Yeah. Go okay. Ahead. So we've got we got one there. Here's one. So we'll just have to punch your hole and send a rivet through it. I'm gonna go ahead and set up our tabs. We are gonna place those a little below the corner. I'm back, chat. Somebody was at the door. We'll go about an inch below the the corner of the apron, right between the the uh, stitch lines. I agree. It looks awesome. <laughs> Very cool looking apron. I like how the canvas kind of like crinkles on itself. I know. I know you're saying you hate that, <laughs> but the where where those like marks in it gives it a cool look. Yeah, it kind of looked, the wax cap kind of looked stressed on its own. That's pretty neat. Exactly. Ham, Swiss cheese, mustard inside a Hawaiian roll. Oof, I'm down with it. Melted butter. What's with the dried onions? I. I <laughs> <laughs> Dried onions. It's the only I thing I didn't think. You said you're down with that, but you don't want any ham balls. <laughs> no, <laughs> ham should be in its proper form, not a ball. Ham in its proper form. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right, that? Split knows what's up. Split knows how to make a good Hawaiian roll. That's for sure. <laughs> what yeah, a little ham that? slider in Hawaiian. That sounds awesome. Are you punch? No, I stop that. asking questions about food. Never stop. Never stop. Hey, wait, what did you make on your first cooking stream? Very first stream, uh, we made uh, chili. Uh, we made my, my age-old recipe for chili. And the reason I chose it for my very first stream was because it was the first dish that I cooked with my dad. It was the, uh, the first dish that I actually prepared for other people when I was younger. Um, and I have a lot of fond memories attached to that, uh, the, the process of creating that recipe and then the process of serving it to people. So it was I mean, symbolic. I, I guess I do a lot of things now. symbolically. <laughs> I'm realizing right today. I think that goes along great with the uh, name of your restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> the old nourish. It's symbolic like crazy. Yeah, that's me. I never found out if your name is Chug or, or Huge. But Chug, I am, yeah, I am Waybread. Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Waybread. Sorry, I did the wrong one. I got to fix, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I honestly like, I like linking my Instagram a little bit. I feel like that's like, it's like my visual resume at this point. No, and the pictures are really good. Have you taken any, uh, my suggestion was you're looking for like the wood floor type of look. Have you taken any pictures on your floor? Mm -hmm. I have not. Oh, come on. Not, not yet. <laughs> I haven't brought myself to put my plates on the floor. <laughs> not yet. A couple of days ago, I used my uh, I used my cutting board, though. So maybe we'll get to the floor soon. Maybe we'll do it today. 
But I just can't. I just can't bring myself to go put put the whole plate right on the floor and start taking pictures of it. I'm just writing off that anyone's gonna eat it after that. Oh, I like so bottles. zoomed in there, Tony. Tony yeah. boy, it's really close. You mean zoom in <laughs> on your face? <laughs> no, mm -mm. I'm good. Thanks. What I mean, it's doing? not like you're getting, you're just gonna it's take a profit. picture of it, not like you're kicking dirt okay. all over the food. I know, but it's like the mentality of it. <laughs> don't do put it. the food actually, on we'll the put floor. it on a plate first. Don't put it actually on the floor. Put it on a plate. <laughs> oh <later>. my god. <laughs> Yeah, genius, I know. Well, that's going to be this this Saturday's stream. We're going to do floor plating. I'm going to plate directly on the floor. You know, during one of his streams, someone said they tried to plate their cat. Oh, yeah. I cannot get that out of my head. Yeah. Tune in this Saturday to watch me plate directly on the floor. So I'm going to change all the camera thing. angles and we're just going to make a mess in the center of my kitchen. Just get you a hot plate Try down on the floor. Don't use the, the oven. And I'll eat it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no so oven, no, no stove. Stream. <laughs> just do it right in the floor to get you a hot plate down there. <laughs> that sounds very uh, intimate. Like I could just I sit know. like cross-legged uh, yeah. and cook and talk. <laughs> I don't know the size of the principle. Far down, you want to go? Right below that, probably, or right above it? Right at it. Wait, wait, Brad, how Camping tall are you? Camping inside stream. Six, six, six two. Six, probably close to my size, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going for a waist strap here. We're going to go probably right below. The towel tabs, yeah. Dude, it looks yeah. awesome. Right there. Yeah. Awesome. Campfire Did you ever do cooking the stream. Oh, exactly. turn around real quick. Alright. Nice. Straps across in the back, yeah. and we'll have a one more way strap coming across. Oh, do I need to make you a circle? Oh that uh, is epic. no, we didn't do the yoke. No yoke. Chat that it is, is epic. Too late. We, we can add that on later if we need to. Okay. Just have to cut cut a ribbon. Or two. I really right like this color. Yep, I think let's go uh, right below it. I think the thing about the color too is it's going to help when we bake or work with flour. I just punched it right. So the down black down one just floor? throws. Or just it like shows right flour so quickly. Uh, let's give it a little gap. Yeah. Well, I think also with it when you're using it, it'll be able to help your camera to give a nice contrast for it to be able to focus uh, on stuff. So the way the camera focuses work is it finds a light and a dark area, and that's where it goes to focus. If anybody cares. Very true. Very true. <laughs> and also, yeah, the my all black outfit messes with my uh, exposure all the time. Tell us about engineering, Clayton. You can nerd out on some stuff. No, that's all right. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> Give me crap about my camera talk. <laughs> nah, that's all right. That's really looking very nice. Oh, there you go. Plating on the floor is a set door. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't give them ideas. I've really got 11,000 babies. <laughs> We're about back up to 2,000. We can uh, do some places down. Oh, it's coming. It's going to be the It's nice. going to be the sound. All right. That's solid. All the it. sound redemptions. All right. I think we got it. Well, you put it in the you pocket. You want to try it on? Um, depends on the, it's more my on the size. day. Yeah. But sometimes it's I like to keep my it cooking it chopsticks the large in the lower sure. pocket. Or uh, or some like some of the tools that I'm just kind of going to pull often. All right. Oh, this really is well with the basically like a dress it. on me. <laughs> well, I was gonna finish that up, but I'm not now. We'll just we'll just pretend. I'm gonna go grab a piece of that scrap canvas. 
It looks great. Yeah. It looks great. My pocket. This you can cinch up wherever you need it. I needed to cinch it up like 10 inches, so we're not doing that. Okay. And it should break in pretty well as you start to wear it. Yeah, yeah, it's a little this, stiff right now, this. but not bad. Pocket. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to give it a test. Put all your towels over here. We'll be good to go. If you waddle like that, it looks like a duck. You stick your hands on the towel. <laughs> Little penguin. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Ben, we made you a thing. And it looks incredible. You guys are very good at what you do. I think you could do. I think you yoke on the back. That way, the strap. Oh. Oh yeah, like you get it. Look, I have some water. One of the coolest yeah. things oh. I've seen. Ooh, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't go you yet. Do an overhead. Well, I'm gonna get an over. Let me get like three camera angles here. This stuff is just oh. fun to play with. It, it, it's so little water it's got test. so much wax in the fibers that uh, you could literally make a bucket out of this stuff, and people do to haul water. I agree, Lara. Only one twenty-two. Right. This little spot right here is where Speedy. I'm focused. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. But water just beads right up on it. And it'll just roll right off. So it, you can sit there and play with it. Your hand is wow. It's pretty neat. And, and um, over time, you'll lose some of the wax out of the fibers, but you can re-wax it. There's lots of different products out there that you can use to... I think Martexin actually, like, carries a wax yeah. for you to re-wax it. No. Exactly. So well, it should clean off pretty easily. Shouldn't stain real quickly. Woo wee! It was a good choice. No, I, I gave it all to me. I agree. I agree. How would you recommend I clean it? Like, Just wipe it off. What's uh, what's care instructions? Yeah, I'd wipe wipe it off with a wet washcloth, more than likely. Just wipe. Got yeah, it. that's that's about it. Yeah. That's you don't want to wash it. Once you start to notice it is starting to accept moisture or get some stains on it, then you'll want to look at rewaxing it. Just re retreating the canvas. Gotcha. Yeah. There you go. I'm flying. All righty. Well, I, I have to get out of here. For Sorry, lunch, I moved, so. yep. I moved you to starving. the bottom, so you didn't cover a plate with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm flying. No, it's I got It's good. I'm well, Ben, flying. it was great to meet you. Yeah. That was, that was fun. fun. It was fun. Uh, thank, so. thank you so much, both of you. Yeah. My for, uh, if you're ever looking for a meal, you know where to find me. If we're in North Carolina, we'll definitely hit you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. All right. I'm out. All right. Thanks, man. Bye, well, Liz. Enjoy Bye. the rest of your day. Thank you both so much. You too. You guys keep twitching. I'm going to follow her out the door while I got the chance. That was awesome. Well, Ben, is there, before we get everything else going on, I know we got like 19 people left in here. What other, uh, what other stuff? You want to go through your stuff one more time? What you do? Yeah. So if you don't, if you haven't met me before, um, I stream over on Twitch TV uh, slash Waybread. I stream six days a week, and it's pretty much all always in my kitchen. So we'll be cooking a bunch of different meals. Um, kind of what I'm feeling for the day. Uh, I happy to ask questions i mean you can answer questions i'll maybe ask you some questions but mostly we just hang out and have a good time uh if you want to check out my instagram it's uh way underscore bread on instagram and you can just please please go take a look at that <laughs> and if you're if you're not convinced that you want to come hang out and see how those foods are made then i don't know what else i could do to be honest no i'm kidding Helps if but I spell apron so right. Please come hang out, y'all. It would be a, it would be a blast. It's always fun to have more people in. Oh, are you? Is it way underscore bread? Did I miss that? Uh, yeah, uh, on Instagram it is. Oh, okay. but on Twitch it's way bread. Okay. 